Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, BFG Metalworks. Let's try that again. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, BFG Metalworks. Today we're going to install the ZWO bracket with the ZWO electronic autofocuser uh, to my new Celestron uh, Edge HD 8 inch. Uh, this was part of the new equipment that I may have mentioned that I did uh, get uh, for myself and uh, the other night I took it out real quick just to do a, um, a quick focusing of the main camera and the off-axis guider. Uh, I didn't get a chance to put these two items on the uh, the scope and uh, it was a real pain in the ass to try to get focus. For a while there I'm turning and turning and turning and I couldn't. I finally got it close. Now that I got it close I'm going to mount these two things on there. So I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is. It should only take a few minutes. So let's dive into it. This should be a short video. Let's get into it. All right, everybody, we're back inside and um, we're going to mount the ZWL bracket with the electronic focuser on my new Celestron Edge HD 8 inch. These are the two items. So what we're going to do is first is I made this little cardboard cutout. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to slide in this piece of cardboard. We're going to get this rubber knob off. Uh, some people have used screwdrivers to pry underneath it. I could probably do that. I just didn't really want to scratch the orange anodize that's on there. So we're going to try just using a pair of uh, wire dikes and just kind of spread them out. They have a curve uh, angled mouth to these. So we're just going to use those to wedge under here, give it a little bit of grip and then see if we can pry it off. And that seems to lift it up. There we go. That's all we really wanted to do. All right. That's all we needed to do. Found that better than using a screwdriver. Usually they use a screwdriver. I mean, this is a Phillips, but usually they get in here and they try to wedge sometimes they put a piece of tape here but the tape will move especially get it in the corner there you don't want to damage any of that all right now that we got that off we can start to take this off but first before i take this off i just want to show you that in the box that comes with your it comes with the bracket it comes with the uh, flexible coupler and that's pretty much it besides the uh, small bag of screws, which I haven't opened yet. And the electronic focuser box, it's gonna come with the cables that you need, your electronic focuser, a couple of other um, couplers that we won't be using, but you're gonna need the Allen wrenches, but you're gonna need the Allen wrenches that are provided with the, uh, with the setup for this. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take, off the, take out these three screws you're going to need a very you know a small phillips head screwdriver so we're just going to take these screws out we're not going to reuse these screws we're going to re we're going to use the screws that are provided in the little plastic bag that comes with the bracket so we'll just put those to the side you can see we're gonna we're gonna leave this in place because this holds the focuser in place. This is true from what I'm seeing with the Celestron, um, the nine and a quarter, eleven, and the fourteen inch. Uh, the eight inch is the same thing. You're, you should leave this uh, in place. 
So when this bracket goes in, this bracket's going to go with the thicker boss sticking outwards. See how that one is not? This one is. And that's going to go down and it's going to match up with the holes that are in there. Okay, so I lied a little bit. The two Allen wrenches that come in the box that don't fit the screws that come with the bracket setup from ZWO. You'll actually need a 2.5 millimeter uh, Allen wrench in order to get that to work. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drop one of the screws, just drop one of the screws in place of the hole here. So it's sticking out the bottom. And then we'll put that in place. Line it up through the hole with the orange anodized piece. And we're gonna just kind of snug it a little bit. We're gonna drop the other two screws and just kind of move them around a little bit until you feel them get make their way as we're slowly turning the cap screws in and through this into the bracket here. All right, so your, your setup should look like this. We're just going to snug these screws up. Don't have to go super tight with these. All right, that's all set. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the coupler out of the package. Obviously, when you look at this coupler, you're going to see there's a larger hole and there's a smaller hole. On each one of these, it has a set of Allen set screws. And those will tighten on the shaft on the round. And on this side, when it goes into the electronic focuser, I believe there's a flat on the shaft that sticks out. You've got to make sure at least one of those screws is on the flat itself. All right, in this view, we can still see the bracket here. Now there's a series of slots, so you can make adjustments. You can put these screws, um, you pull them out and you can move the bracket up and down. Now if I just dry fit this, so I just drop this on here. And then I go to put the focuser on. Focuser is gonna, it's gonna come tightening through on the screws that are here. So that'll sit on top like so. It doesn't even make, doesn't even reach. So we're going to have to adjust this bracket. Now I know from watching uh, previous videos that we're going to go to the third slot on this one here. So let's do that now. All right, I'm just going to loosen these. We're just going to go right to the third slot. All right, now I'm going to do is I'm just going to eyeball this, this edge here to this edge here. And that'll be, that'll be, should be right in the center there, in which it is. You can give that a snug, tighten it a little bit more. All right, now our bracket is on, we're ready to install everything else. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the, um, the coupler, the flexible coupler, onto the shaft of the electronic focuser. I'm gonna find a part where it's flat and I'm gonna match it up with the set screw that's in there and I'm just gonna drop it right on there. But I'm not gonna push it all the way up to the surface of the focuser because you don't want it rubbing. So you want it to sit away just a, just a little bit. And of course the Allen wrenches that are provided in the other box, you're gonna need your own. So this is a uh, two millimeter Allen wrench that's gonna go in here. So we'll find that flat. I'm going to tighten up both the set screws. There we go. We're all set. All right, so now we're going to slide this on. 
And now this matches the face and we have a little bit of a gap down here, which is exactly what we wanted. It's got a little bit more than what I was thinking it would be, but that's, I think that'll be fine. I think that will be fine. Now we just got to get the screws underneath here, which is kind of a pain, but we can, we can get it done. All right, I got the screws in. I don't want to bore you guys with me trying to fiddle and get these things in. It is kind of a pain, but once you get them in, I just kind of finger tighten them, but not really. So this is still a little loose because I want to tighten this coupler up next. All right, see we got a little bit of a gap there, which is, which is good, that's what we want. Just want to tighten up those little set screws. Just gonna get it close. All right, it's tightened up. So now we just got to tighten up the. Uh, the two Allen cap screws here. All right, this might be a little bit better of a view. All right, that is it. All right, that's all set, it's all together. Now basically you just gotta hook everything back up and uh, run some little tests, make sure that it's gonna hook up. So we're gonna do that in just a few minutes. I'm gonna put all my imaging train on, put this on the tripod, and then uh, we'll take a look at it so you can see it and uh, actually watch it move. So just give me a second, we'll be right back. Okay guys, as you can see, everything is on. I've got everything connected to the ASI Air Plus. Just gonna zoom in on the coupler there so you can see it. And uh, in our app that we're in right now, um, the ASI Air app, uh, we're going to go to electronic focuser and uh, it shows current position, 30,320. Um, we're gonna come over here to where this focuser button is over here. And we're just gonna push the up or down button. And you can see the numbers are changing and our coupler's moving. So everything seems to be working and running smoothly. Just put it back. I guess if you want to go back, just come in here and just type in a new value. We'll go back to 30,000. Hit OK. Say move. That's not what I wanted to do, but well, you know. Anyways, we're gonna manually move it back to 30,000. And we'll just leave it there. And when we try to get out tonight, maybe we'll do some imaging. We'll be able to um, put the autofocuser to test. So that'll be nice. Okay, with that guys, Everything is mounted nice, and uh, we're going to give it a shot tonight and see how it goes. So thanks for hanging out with me again for this simple install. I know there's plenty of videos out there, but I appreciate you guys stopping by and uh, taking a look at mine. All right. Have a good night, guys. Talk to you soon. Welcome. Go away.